And good news for the Islanders is Anthony Beauvillier is back in the lineup. <laughs> There's the moves right away. Yeah. False positive for Beauvillier yesterday, so he was not in the lineup for the very first game here. And now Marner feeds it back. Brody had a good night last night, gives it to Riley and a shot off Sorokin with punting. Parked in front of the net. Nick Ritchie's on the left wing on this third line tonight. There's Ritchie centering it to Nkacha, unable to get a good shot away. Ritchie stole it, and it slides right to Sorokin, who steers it away. Big hit. Ritchie unloading on Grant Hutton. Chemistry, and Engvall's been the one that's maybe offensively not been able to get anything going. So you move Ritchie, who was really struggling on the offensive board, get him into that kind of defensive mindset. It didn't look really comfortable on their setup, and, and there are times on that four on three that that's the case. Marner's got a break. He's in shorthanded. Scores! Mitch Marner, a shorthanded goal, and the Leafs strike first. Long pass. Watch all the blue sweaters turn back, and Matt Barzell doesn't realize that Marner's behind him. He's got the quick edge on him and moves the goaltender, Sorokin, laterally. What a great pass by Muzzin. Good footwork by Marner. Good protection of the puck, and then goes in about four foot. Brody took a swing, unable to make contact, and the Islanders get it back. Pajot is still looking for his first career goal against Toronto. Salo winds a fire. Rebound stopped in front as Parise had a chance, and Joseph Wall comes up big in tight. But now he's still got to deal with the four on three. There's the rebound that he couldn't control, but his reaction was right there on the doorstep. Chara's got it. He'll let it fly, and that'll stick to Wall as the penalty to Lilligren has come to an end. Now all of a sudden you've lost five in a row and you're scrambling to get a little traction in your new home and give the fans something here to talk about. Sandine was hit there by Matt Martin. Here's Tavares with a shot and the rebound. Kerfoot unable to reach that and it will be dumped out by Kesey Sezikis. Chris, you don't think that Matt Martin sitting on the New York bench saw Richie go in and make that big center ice Potic. As that turned over, and Jason Spencer looks across. Here comes Wayne Simmons to the net. Sorokin down and made the stop off Simmons, who had a few glittering chances last night against Pittsburgh. Hall took a whack at it. Parise follows. A pass across, and Wall with a big stop off Richard Ponick. Ponick, of course, played for the Leafs in the 14-15 season. Into the play offensively, and then here's that good save. An excellent pass. And He'll feed the point to Riley. Sending it in, and Matthews unable to reach that. Marner from long range, and off the stick of bunting wide. Riley worked over by Char in the corner. Nylander just throwing it in front, and it's taken away from Tavares and shot high as Clutterbuck just missed. Clutterbuck comes into the game 10th in the league in hits, which is not as high as he usually is. He's usually in the top three. Engvall to the far side. Spezza returns it. Engvall centers. Simmons stop. Big save by Ilya Sorokin. Wayne Simmons keeps generating chances. Here's Sandine. A change up and Sorokin down with Spezza on the doorstep. Cycle shift by the Matthews line with Bunting. Getting it back to Matthews. Trying to stuff it. Denied up top it goes and that flutters wide off the stick of Nylander as the Leafs are changing and they've hemmed the Islanders in get fresh troops. Kerfoot at center redirects to camp. David Camp shot rejected by Chara. Back the other way comes Beauvillier. Anthony Beauvillier walks in and just missed. And then Sheldon Keith talks about generating more offense and five on five don't you think again here you saw a shorthanded goal by Marner they, they've got three five on five goals in the last three games and now almost one period so Nick Ritchie on this third line which might be a little bit of a surprise because Sheldon Keefe had been so happy with the work of this checking unit here's a chance for Thompson right on and now back to the line. Hall across for Muzzin. Muzzin sends it to the net, and that rings off the post. Events, but a really amazing guy was JP, and a well-loved teammate as well. Yeah, I remember 
one game in Russia where most of those penalty minutes <laughs> happened. Them all, yeah. You got to protect that lead. You know that you're going to get some push by the Islanders on home ice here, but somebody has to find a way to put one in the back of the net here. Rick wide, too far for Richie. No icing on the play. Camp in front, scores! Andre Kasha from his old running mate, David Camp. And the Leafs have a 2 0 lead. Get tipped right here in the neutral zone. The pass across hits right there. So it's a bouncing puck. It gets waved off. And you credit Richie. He gets in there first, a little shuttle pass. And wow, two passes. It's in the back of the net. Sorokin's looking in the corner. There's the deflection, which causes no icing. Good job by Richie getting to it first. And what a pass tape to tape as David Camp, the pair that has such good chemistry together. Kasha gets inside on Richard Ponick, stick on the ice. Sandine moves up, it's pushed past him, but kept in the zone. Good work again by Bunting. Marner's got it back to Bunting in front. And Sorokin comes across and stopped Matthews. Scooped up by Tavares and away goes Kerfoot. Puts on the brakes at the line. And that handoff to Riley doesn't work, and Wallstrom's back. The dangerous Oliver Wallstrom, and a blocker stopped by Wall. Here's Robin Salo, rink wide. That's cut by Marner. Back in come the Leafs. It's Michael Bunting with Matthews. Marner in front scores! Marner has doubled down, and the Leafs have a 3 0 lead as Bunting sets up Marner for some insurance with 6.31 to go shift after getting shut out by the Penguins and this is just a great play of give and go you've got the threat of Matthews down below he's ready for the shot bunting instead of trying to risk it and get a turnover looks back fakes for a second and then finds going to the net hard just a nice area pass the Leafs are gonna get a chance to celebrate eight days ago his first National Hockey League win tonight the first shutout in the NHL career of Joseph Wall as he stops 20.